Hey guys, in this video, I'm gonna share with you some of my favorite free print-on-demand resources that you can use right now to help with your print-on-demand business. It doesn't matter if you sell on Amazon, Etsy, Redbubble, KDP, or any of the other platforms. The tools and resources that I'm gonna show are 100% completely free and they can help no matter what kind of product it is that you're selling. So before we jump on the computer, I wanna say one quick thing. I know it can be a little bit overwhelming sometimes when there's so many different tools and options and things out there to help with your business. So here's what I would suggest. Pour yourself a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, sit back and just watch the video. I'm gonna briefly go over each of the tools and explain you know, how they work and, and how you can use it for your business. But down below in the description, I'm gonna put the links to all the different tools and I'll put them in there by category. So I'll have all the graphic design and font tools. I'll have all the extensions and plugin tools. I'll have all of the research tools. So that after you're done watching the video, all you have to do is go in to each link and bookmark the ones that you want. Then on your own time, you can go back, you'll have all of them bookmarked and organized and you can go back and play with the tools and learn more about them okay so sit back relax let's jump on the computer and I'll show you these resources okay guys so here we are on my desktop I'm gonna do this in batches so for the first free resources we're gonna go over free graphic or free font libraries so the first one that I have here is called heritagetype.com this is a premium font and illustration website where you can get some I mean some really really cool fonts some really cool layouts a lot of that kind of vintage feel and vibe but if you go to the website heritagetype.com and then you click on free Free downloads and right here they have an entire section of free vintage illustrations for your creative projects tons of stuff right look at these forest animals they've got black and white stuff weddings insects I mean each of these different libraries has a handful of images or photos in them so really cool website and they always have free stuff available Okay, the next one that I have is called the biodiversitylibrary.org. This is part of the Smithsonian Institution, and they have a Flickr stream, right, which is a photo library website of free photos from hundreds of years worth of old vintage biodiversity illustrations and literature. So this is the website, and the reason I went here is that I wanna show you guys the about section. So I'm, I'm on biodiversitylibrary.org, and you click on about, and right down here, in addition to public domain content, BHL works with right holders to obtain permission to make in copyright materials openly available under the Creative Commons license. Through their Flickr account, BHL provides access to over 300,000 free nature images. So when you click on Flickr, that link or you click on their images from their main website, I'll put a link below, it takes you here to their Flickr account. I mean, this is just full, absolutely packed full of all kinds of stuff, fish, butterflies, which are really popular. I mean, look at this, this is just pages and pages worth of stuff down here, right? So we could just jump around and you could do all kinds of cool stuff on this. So this is another one I highly recommend. That's again, part of the biodiversitylibrary.org, link will be below. All right, next on my list is rawpixel.com. This is another photo library or graphic design library that has a paid version, but it also has a free section. So right up here at the top, you can click on free and there's over 1 million professionally made free photos photos, vector graphics, PSD mockups, templates, PNG elements, design add-ons, etc. So you could type something in, right? We got Valentine's Day coming up. You can type in Valentine's Day. You can see what comes up. And then over here on the right, you can search by, make sure you have free enabled, which I do here. But you can look at, you know, do you want backgrounds? Are you looking for photo specific? You know, do you want PNG? Do you want a vector file that you can play with? Another just awesome website to have bookmarked when you need something quick. Jump on here. It doesn't cost anything. Completely free. All right. And the next one I have for you guys is called publicdomainvectors.org. This is another completely free public domain website that offers vectors and graphics and things like that. If you click here, public domain vector images provides via download are bound to the Creative Commons. You can copy, modify, distribute, and perform the work even for commercial purposes, all without asking permission. It's pretty clear, right? Pretty straightforward. So they've got tons of stuff on here. I mean, you can, you know, you could search for, let's see, uh, Valentine's Day. You can get on here and play with all kinds kinds of stuff, everything from really simple stuff to some more complex stuff. And you can download these in different formats, SVG, EPS, AI files, PNGs. Another one to just have bookmarked 
jump on here you can get a lot of cool stuff all right and the last one i have for uh free graphics libraries or free font libraries is creativefabrica.com now creative fabrica is awesome and there is a paid version it's very inexpensive i use this a lot and i'm gonna do maybe another video in depth on creative fabrica because this is probably one of the most popular and best value print on demand libraries out there but you can do some stuff on here completely for free. So go to creativefabrica.com and you click right over here on freebies. And then right here, let's go to fonts. I can look at fonts and these are all free fonts. And you can see what they look like, kind of what the theme is, what kind of niche they're trying to target. You can look at free graphics, right? entire graphic libraries on you know baby elephants and honeybees and you know some awesome background stuff especially when you're trying to do maybe some phone cases or pop sockets coffee mugs you know things like that a lot of cool stuff on here completely free and i'm probably going to do some more videos on this because this is a really powerful platform but check it out for free just go to creative fabrica and click on this freebies here and see what else they have okay for this next set of free resources i'm going to show you guys some brainstorming and research tools that i like to use so the first one that i have is random word generator Dot com. Now this is, website's really cool because it'll generate all kinds of random types of words for you. I like to use the noun version where I can type in random noun generator and say, I want 20 results and it'll just show me 20 different nouns. And then I can use these to kind of think of t-shirt ideas or other print on demand product ideals. You know, something about diamonds or something about employees. I'll put a link to the video somewhere up here or I dive deep into this kind of free niche research method and you would be amazed at the kind of ideas that you can come up with when you have this random word generator throwing stuff at you and then you kind of dive in you do a little bit of research and you can find some really really cool stuff so that's again randomwordgenerator.com okay so the next tool that i have is called merchantformer.com now this is a paid tool but they have a free resource on their website that you can use you don't even have to sign up so go to merchantformer.com and click on resources here and then click on merch research and this is basically a filter tool that will only show results of products that are part of the merch by amazon program so you could choose your marketplace you you could choose your product and you type in a search term so i could type in valentine's day since that's right around the corner and hit search and now it's only going to show me valentine's day pop sockets that are a part of the merch by amazon platform this is a good way to kind of filter out the other results that often flood an amazon search query with only MBA products. It's not perfect, it has its flaws, but for a free resource, this is a, a secondary filter I like to use. Okay, the next tool that I have here, this one's a little bit different, it's called answersocrates.com. And basically this is a free search tool where you can type in a question or a phrase and it will show you other common related questions related to that topic. So we're gonna stick with my Valentine's Day theme here and I'm gonna type in Valentine's Day shirt, United States, and I'm gonna hit search. And this is gonna show me what other terms and, and phrases and questions or search queries that people use around the keyword Valentine's Day shirt. It breaks it down by category. So we've got questions, you know, can I wear a t-shirt on a date? How did it get started? You can get some other keyword ideas like Valentine's Day toddler shirt. And then you can scroll all the way down here to the bottom and it'll just have it broken down by letter. And if you scan through this, you'll see some pretty interesting stuff. Look at this, Valentine's Day horse shirts. Somebody is searching for that. If somebody's searching for that, there's probably some kind of demand and it's worth a further look. This is a completely free tool. It's just another way out there to kind of look at your print on demand research in a different lens. Okay, and the last tool that I have here for research is tmhunt.com. Now this is basically a quick and easy trademark search where you can check certain phrases to see if they're trademarked for your print on demand products. This should be some part of your research process. Before you decide to make a design, right, and spend the time to create it, you should be verifying that it does not have any trademarks or restrictions. So you could type in a term, I'll just type in Valentine's Day. You can search by exact match or partial and you hit search and nothing comes up. Whereas if I were to type in Nike, for example, and I hit search, I can see all these different trademarks that are live for Nike, for the design, for the typeset, for the text and you can click on these links and it will give you more information again that's that's a topic for another day but this is a great tab to have open when you're doing niche research so when you find something before you decide to take it to that next step make sure there's no trademarks check out tmhunt.com okay this next section is for chrome extension plugins these are plugins that you can download for free that work with the google chrome browser so i've got three of them for you guys the first one is amz suggestion expander this is probably my hands down favorite 
research tool. All it does is it just expands the search selection. As you can see here on the screen, when you type in a search term in Amazon, it shows you additional keywords, keywords that take place before the term, keywords that take place after the term, keywords in between the term. And it's just a great way to get visibility into other variations of what you're researching. You have to have this tool. Okay, this next tool is called DS Amazon Quick View. And what it does is it shows you the BSR or best sellers rank of any product on amazon.com. And that BSR ranking is a metric that we use to determine how good a product is selling. It varies for category, but for t-shirts, it's really important that you look at that because it'll tell you not only if a product is sold, but how often it's selling. And this works for KDP, this works for Amazon FBA, pretty much anything that you wanna sell on Amazon, you wanna use this DS Amazon Quick View so that you can quickly see the BSR ranking and determine more information and, and make a decision on if it's something that you wanna pursue. And the third plugin that I have for you guys is called Productor for Merch by Amazon. Now this is a very powerful Chrome extension tool specifically for the Merch by Amazon platform that allows you to do so many things. I'm going to do maybe a separate video on how to use Productor and all the different features but if you're in say tier 1000 or above and you want to really learn how to scale your designs, speed up your upload process, have built-in trademark checks, have keyword suggestions, you know resize your products, this Chrome extension can do all of that and a lot more. Again, this isn't the video to go into that, but I strongly recommend if you're trying to find a free tool, I can't believe this one's free, but if you're trying to find a free tool to use for your MBA, you know, uploading process, check out this extension. It is very powerful, ton of awesome uses. All right, this next section that I have for you guys is some free tools. These are browser-based tools, mainly graphic design tools, where you can do some really powerful editing free with these programs. So the first one that I have is called Adobe Express. It's a really powerful tool and there's a free version with some great feature. So you go to express.adobe.com, you sign up for a free version, and you can get in here and start playing around. So here's an example. I've been using this to create my YouTube thumbnails. So this is a YouTube thumbnail template. And here's an image of me, right? It's a corny image, I know. But look what's really cool about this. Right over here, you have the remove background. That's a free feature with Adobe Express. That's a really powerful feature. So I can upload my photo and I click remove background and voila, look at that. Background is removed. I hit okay. And now I've got a completely free background, you know, that I can then, you know, put onto my template. I can change the background color of my template, you know, for my YouTube video. I could come over here and add, you know, text. I mean, you could do, you could just do so many different things. There's shapes. You can import different design assets and backgrounds. There's a lot of stuff with this free version. I highly recommend it. I've been using it a lot, like I said, for YouTube. So check it out. This is called Adobe Express. Okay, the next free tool that I have for you guys is called Photopea or Photopea.com. This is basically a free bootleg version of Photoshop. It's a little complicated in some senses, but if you get in here and play around, you can do a lot. So for example, I can click on new project here. I can go over and type in my Merch by Amazon template size, 45. 500 by 5400. I want it to be 300 DPI. Let's say I want to design on a black background and hit create. Bam, it uploads my Merch by Amazon template. And then this works on a drag and drop system. So I could just drag something over and pop it in. This is just a graphic I had on my desktop from an old YouTube video. You can go in here and you can type in text and play with your colors. You know, there's all kinds of different things that you could do with this, but you just got to kind of play with it and figure out, you know, what kind of features and system works good for you. Totally free. Check it out. Photopia.com. Okay. My last tool recommendation for you guys is one of my favorites. This is called coolers.co. All right. And basically this is a color palette generator. So if you ever made a design and you're trying to match colors and figure out what kind of color schemes go together, you know, if you're making it on a black shirt or a white shirt, or you're trying to design something for a particular cover, or you want it to match that theme and style, check this website out. So you can go here and just click start the generator. And what it's gonna do is it will bring up a color palette. So all of these colors complement each other in some way that a graphic design artist could probably explain a lot better than I could. But let's say you want to just randomize it. You just hit the space bar and it's gonna throw something else up. And then if I decide, oh, I like this pink color, okay? I really like this. I wanna find something that's based off of this color. Roll your mouse over and click on the lock button here. And now when you lock the that you're saying I've locked in this one. Now I want to generate four other colors that complement it. So I hit spacebar 
and you notice that pink color stays the same, but it's bringing up all these other color patterns. So then I say, ooh, I really like this one. I like this blue, so I'm gonna lock it in. Okay, so now it's gonna only show me colors that complement the blue and the pink. And you keep hitting space and you can see, it doesn't take an expert to see, okay, these, these colors do match. They kind of go well together. You can go through and lock these and play with them. You can get the color code off of here and then give that to your designer or put that into Photopea or Adobe Express, whatever the case is, so that you can basically learn how to match your colors and palettes based on whatever it is that you're trying to convey. This is an awesome site. I really like it for whenever I'm trying to just get new ideas and generate some colors off of like, if I have something in mind, I'll jump on here and, and see what it comes up with. It's, it's, it's really cool. So there you have it, guys. You don't have to have expensive paid tools in order to be successful with print on demand. These are all free resources and I still use them every single day. So I hope you got some value out of this video. Please be sure to give it a like, a thumbs up and hit that notification bell. Drop a comment below if you have any questions or if you know of another free resource or tool that you wanna share with the public, drop it below. Let's help each other out, all right? See you guys on the next video.